Hello. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to scale objects. We have already discussed about moving objects. So just like we had seen in moving objects, you can either use the tool or you can use the keyboard shortcuts. Now keyboard shortcuts will give you more flexibility and precise adjustments of the scaling. Using the tool, you are just free to do certain scaling. So let us have a look at that particular tool. So to scale our object, first of all, select the object. Then let's go and select the scale tool. So this is the scale tool. Instead of arrows, you have the square blocks, which indicates the axis in which you can scale your object. So just click and drag. You can scale them in the different axis X, Y and Z. That is simple. Now the other thing is inverted axis. That means except X scale on other two axes, except Z scale on other two axes and except Y scale on other two axes. So this way I can use the scale tool to scale my object. Fine. This is a very, very simple way of scaling objects using the scale tool. Interesting part is using the keyboard concept. So in case of keyboard, the obviously by now you would have understood if it is scale, we will use the keyboard shortcut S. So here, first of all, we will select our object, which we want to scale. Keep in mind, scaling camera and light is of no use as such. They have their own settings. So don't bother about them. Objects which are used for modeling, they are scalable, you can say. Okay, so over here, coming back to the point, first of all, I will select my object and let me also enable the Z axis display over here. Okay, so now I have this object over here. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to scale this object on a specific axis. So for that, select the object, press S. And if you don't press any axis key X, Y or Z, the object will scale equally in all the directions or in the same ratio. Fine. You can finalize the operation by clicking the left click or you could press escape or any other key to cancel the operations. Let me press control Z now. So this way, this is the first way you could arbitrarily scale your object. The next thing that we can do is scale our object in say one of the axes. So let's try it with X, Y, and Z. So I'll say scale on X and now I can scale my object on X axis. So I've scaled it. I'm happy. I'll leave it on that side. Next scale that I can do is scale on Y axis. Now here I will scale on Y axis. I will move my mouse. I can scale on Y axis. And finally, I can try scaling it on Z axis. And here I can click drag and scale on Z axis. So these are the three ways I could have scaled it. The other is, as you remember, inverted scaling. That means except for X, Y or Z, we want to scale in other two axes. So here it will be the same way. Select the object, press S and shift off X. So now in barring X, we will scale in both the other axes. Similarly, you can say scale on shift of Y. So we are act scaling on the X and Z axis. And similarly, you could say scale on shift Z. Now you can scale it on these two other axes. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to scale our object with specific units. Now, before that, I will just show you one thing. There is a concept of the scale and dimension of the object. So when you add an object, it is of scale one, as you can see over here. And its dimensions are two meter by two meter by two meter or anything it could be. So they have a relation which we will discuss about uh, later what is the concept of scale and all. But whenever we are scaling the object, the object is scaled in terms of when you say scale it twice. So the object will be twice of its size or it will scale two times on that particular axis. So here dimensions of this object are two meter by two meter by two meter. Let me show you from front side. So this one box is one unit that is one meter, one square meter because we are in the front view. Now, if I scale this object 
it will scale over here fine like this so you can see it is 3.91 meters here and scale is somewhat here fine so when it is twice the size obviously you know if we scale it two times the size then this will be 4 by 4 meter so what is the concept of scale and this we will discuss in some other video but keep that in mind when we are scaling we are scaling in terms of the size whatever is this current scale accordingly it gets scaled so if you wanted accurate measurements and all you might want to change the dimensions from here instead of scale anyways now let us see what happens when i scale it on z axis or let us say we will simply scale the object and now i want to scale it twice so if i press 2 you will notice the scale is twice or the object is twice the size scale it says 2 and size is increased accordingly fine if you go to the front view you could see that it was 2 by 2 now it is 4 by 4 if you see from first third or in top view you will see that particular effect so this is scaling now if i scale it again twice this will become 8 okay it was two times now it is four times scaled fine but the size is now 8 meters so that thing you need to get into the understanding scaling Okay, so let us say I want to scale my object on Z axis. I will select the object. I will press S, Z and I will say 2. So now my object is scaled twice the size you can see on the Z axis. So it was 2 by 2 and now it is scale is 4. Similarly, I could do for scale on X axis by 2 times or 3 times and press enter scale on Y axis by 3 times. Press enter and you can have an object like this okay so this way you can scale your object as per your requirements now there is one other interesting thing is that you can give a point value that means you you cannot scale it in negative values like if i say scale by minus 2 it doesn't work fine so let's go to the front view and you can see our object right now is of size 4 let us let us just get the scale to 1 everywhere so that it will be easier for understanding what i am going to explain you next now this is in the scale of 1 by 1 or i would even change the dimensions to 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter okay so let us say this is my object fine now this is broken up into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 parts. So if you scale it to 0.9, what's going to happen is it will be reduced by or it will become 0.9th size. Like if you say scale it by 0.5, it will become half of that. If you scale it by 0.9, it will be reduced slightly or it will be 90% of the size of the original object. That is the concept. So let's say scale by 0.9. Now you can see the object is reduced by 0.9. For clarity, let me put this guy over here. Fine. Now if I say scale on no axis, but I'll scale it completely. Scale by 0.5. So you will notice that if we grab this on Z axis and I place it say here, fine, you will see one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now it is reduced to half of the size. Fine. The scales here could be different because I had already made it 0.5. But what I want to explain is when you scale something in the point values, so you could reduce them effectively like this. So if let us say we start with an object of the basic size. Let's start with a new file over here. And now if I have this object and let me make a copy of this, grab on X, I keep it over here. Now if I wanted an object half of the size of this, I would simply say scale it to 0.5%. Fine. So this cube is half of the size of this cube. 
so i have scaled it down so you could scale the original object also and you can use this scale mechanism on a particular axis also so like if i wanted to scale this object on z axis to 0.1 so this is what we will get fine this is 0.1 the this cube actually takes up two boxes each box is of 10 so 20 units or 20 smaller units have been taken up over here and when i scale it to 0.1 sorry scale on z axis to 0.1 you will notice that it is taking up two units because total are 20 units if it would have been 10 units it would have taken this thing or simply if you multiply 20 by 0.1 you are going to get two units over here right so that way you could scale your objects in x y or z axis okay so now try playing around with this particular concept and uh, you can then work with some of the tasks which we have provided apart from that one point that i missed is that you can scale it on using the number mechanism you can scale it on shift of x y z also be it for a full number or a point value, it will work for both.